Welcome to another Ward 3 Community Corner. My name is Chris Fonseca and I'm the City Councillor for Ward 3. And as the Councillor, I meet many exciting people out in the community. And the Community Corner is my opportunity to get to know some of these people and see how they have invested in our great community, in our ward, in our city of Mississauga. And today, it is my pleasure to be joined by Gil Caldwell, a longtime resident of Ward 3 in the city of Mississauga. He's done many amazing things in the community, uh, advocated on a number of occasions, is a teacher or was a teacher, longtime teacher and principal. Today, in particular, we are going to talk about Gil Caldwell, the artist. So thank you so much for joining me on Community Corner here in Ward 3. And I'm first going to ask you, what does art mean to you? Um, well, it's a good question. Um, to me, well, first of all, it's, uh, it's a lot of fun. You know, I really enjoy doing it. It's a great, uh, great pastime, a great hobby. It's also a means of, um, of self-expression, of course, mm -hmm. like the same as a musician or a writer or a poet or whatever. Um, so you're really, um, you know, you're, you're trying to put on paper, on a blank piece of paper, as some feeling or something that you have seen or observed, you know, in, in your travels. Uh, to me, this is what it really, uh, really means. But the bottom line really is it's a lot of fun and I enjoy yes. it. Now, you, your works can be seen worldwide, mm -hmm. um, also locally in the city of Mississauga. I know that you have received a number of different awards, um, but what initially sparked your interest at a young age? Can you remember that first moment? Um, yeah, I, I can think back to grade uh, seven or eight, um, public school. Uh, I was the uh, kid that had to do the drawings for the teachers on the blackboard. Oh, wow. Really? And I okay. think this was probably one way that I was able to pass grade seven or eight. <laughs> Uh, doing the uh, drawings. The word got out that I was, you know, at, at the age of 10 or 11, uh, that I could draw. So um, I was the one that did the draw a lot of the technical drawings for the teachers Wonderful. on the blackboard. So and a that great was grade way seven to and eight. A great way to express yourself. Yeah, at it was, the same yeah. time, it was your way of also a, a learning. It was a way that, to right. learn. Yeah, exactly. Oh, yeah. wonderful. Yeah, wonderful. Was, uh, so that really got me going. But I was also growing up in the middle of Toronto. Okay. And I was influenced by the old homes and stuff, even at that age. And yes. it sort of caught my eye. And I've been hooked on architectural kind of styles yes. um, ever since. Ever since then. Yeah. Hence um, printmaking and also uh, watercolor. And, and watercolor. You, you brought with you today this um, original, beautiful mm -hmm. original. And I guess it uh, it illustrates some of what you were just yeah. explaining. Yeah, it's just typical. Is yeah. this a particular neighborhood? No, not necessarily. Uh, what I do when I'm traveling around, I do a lot of sketches, take photographs, and I sort of do what you would call uh, composite kinds of work, putting pieces together. It takes me hours and hours just to plan this. Yeah. You know what I think is wonderful about this? Um, in the background, uh, or to me it's very three-dimensional. So in the background, you have that more architectural style that mm -hmm. you were referring to, that yeah. when you were in grade seven and eight, you that, were able right. to do draw. Mm -hmm. um, but then as you move forwards into the foreground, a little bit more, there's more um, uh, curvature in the lines, yeah. the, way, the way that you have, uh, I guess also the medium that you've used, mm -hmm. it makes it very three-dimensional. Yeah, it's more of a, um, it's a stylized kind of painting mm -hmm. too. Like, I, I don't belong to the, um, the Swish and Splash group, <laughs> if you know what yes. I mean. Yeah, no, I yeah. think that's wonderful. And yeah. as you mentioned, I guess over many years, it takes, oh, it takes yeah. a lot of time to oh, it does, yeah. become yeah. confident in that style. That's right, yeah. yeah. So outside of uh, the watercolors and also printmaking, are there any other... Any other uh, yeah, once in a while I'll do a little bit of ceramic work too, oh, okay. but not very often. Okay. Yeah, this is what I really enjoy doing. And this is obviously an urban scene. Mm -hmm. um, have you also uh, ventured into um, uh, depicting or um, painting rural scenes? Or oh, yes, is there I any do. other? Yeah, I do both. I go inside the city quite often too. Um, to me, this also, the dimension to it also really captures the community aspect of it. Oh, and I the think fact so. That yeah. it is a well, especially Toronto. Yeah, yes. not so much Mississauga. 
because you don't see many bandstands around Mississauga. Yeah. <laughs> but this is more of the uh, typical Toronto, yeah. you know, the uh, Toronto scene. Well, that's wonderful. Um, what would you say, now you eventually became, went on to becoming a teacher. Mm -hmm. um, did your experiences in grades seven and eight or later on in high school through art uh, lead you down that path to becoming a teacher and a principal? Or? Well, yeah, I ended up um, after teaching regular uh, grade school. Uh, they moved me into a senior school. I was teaching uh, senior school art okay. for about four years. But you know what I found there? That I was so involved with the kids' artwork, I wasn't doing any on my own. <laughs> then they went and promoted me to vice principal, and that was the end of that anyway. So I was able to get back onto. Um, but I lost. I started to lose a bit of interest. In, because I was so involved uh, with the children's, uh, the children's art ah. at that level. So did being a teacher then, would you say being a teacher influenced some of your art or? Mm, or not really, no. It was, it no, was a different, really. just a different, uh, a different journey or a different That's path right, yeah, in your life. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So then when did you, when did you um, get back onto uh, the path of, uh, of artist? Was it once well, you retired or? Yeah, well, as soon as I retired. Uh -huh. uh, okay. I retired in 1988 as a vice principal with the Etobicoke Board. And um, I started to paint uh, full time. In fact, my wife, Betty, <laughs> she said to yes. me the house could burn down and I'd still be painting. <laughs> so you really took, you really. Yeah, I really tackled it. Tackled I, I went and did it full, in full it. steam. Yeah. I just loved doing it. Yeah. So you grew up in Toronto, mm -hmm. um, and then you taught in Etobicoke, and you've lived, uh, resided in Mississauga for many years. Has living in a neighborhood in Mississauga influenced your Not your really. Work in no, any no, way? no. I was more influenced by the uh, Toronto scene. Okay. Yeah. Uh, but your artwork is sold and uh, recognized worldwide. Yeah. Um, have you traveled to any of those locations? Yes, I have. As a matter of fact, oh. we have a daughter that lives in France. Oh, wonderful. So we get over there quite often. And um, I'm able to do a lot of drawing and, and work over there, too. That's great. And when you're in a city, when you are away in a city such as, uh, you were in Paris? Yeah, we've been in Paris, okay. yeah. Uh, has, does that influence, has that influenced your style at all? Not really, no. No, not a lot, no. But I am, you know, I, I, I'm amazed at the architecture over there. Yeah. Because there's so many <laughs> hundreds of years of architecture. That's right. You know, so, some of those, uh, compared to, to here. Yeah, some of those communities oh, yeah. are quite uh, yeah. much older, the architecture's oh, yeah. there. Yeah. So. Um, what, what would you say of all the pieces uh, do you have one that's a favorite to you? This one right this here, one. <laughs> wow, would you brought yeah, it. Yeah, I just finished that one about oh, three or four years ago. I've had prints made of it now, too. Wonderful. Yeah. Wonderful. And they're for sale. They are for sale. <laughs> ah, and so do you have host workshops uh, now where people no, can purchase no, no, or not really. learn no, from no, you? No, I don't do that, no. Oh. no. And so where, are they, where can people uh, purchase if they're for sale? Well, uh, mostly from my home, but I have a show at uh, Visual Arts Mississauga Visual every year. Arts, yes. And I think you mentioned that you had attended the last I one. I did too. attend the yeah. last one. It and was wonderful. And you were wonderful. disappointed because I wasn't there. I know. The <laughs> artist was not there. Um, so just a few more questions. Um, you have, uh, you are an elected member of the Society of Canadian Artists and the Ontario Society of Artists. What are some of, what's the role you play there? What, what, the what's which? the role? Do you play a specific role? Or? Um, not really. Um, what they do, they have a lot of jury shows. Okay. So it gives you a chance to, you know, to expose your work uh, to a, a wider, you know, a wider audience. That's good. Yeah. That's good. And yeah. do, you, do you take that opportunity to uh, speak with others as well about, or learn from others? Uh, in terms of what they're doing in their art form? Or? It's, yeah, it's interesting because um, when you look, uh, actually what you're doing is you're looking also at your, at your uh, colleagues mm -hmm. that are wor yes. working in maybe in similar styles, different styles, and it's quite an eye-opener, a, a big eye-opener to be able to see what these other people are doing too. Yes, yeah, I would, I would imagine it keeps you, I guess, moving forward and keeping yeah, an open yeah, mind. Yeah, it makes you work harder. Hearts. Yeah. Um, and you mentioned, so you have uh, had shows at Visual Arts Mississauga. Um, how do you feel the art scene has changed in Mississauga? We now have a master plan 
for culture in yeah. our city. No. Uh, we're trying to invest and support art and culture in many different ways. How do you feel that it has changed? You've lived in Mississauga for many years. Well, what I've noticed uh, uh, entering shows and stuff that the, um, that the talent has improved an awful lot since I first started getting into shows here in Mississauga. Um, the, uh, the competition is, is much greater now yes. than it was, say, 20, 30, 40 years ago. And they seem to be drawing in more people, too. Yes, and they, and they seem more confident in being able to show or uh, display different art forms. Oh, that's I right, Joan. Yeah. Yeah. So if there's one thing that, as a city, we could do to help uh, art and culture thrive in Mississauga, what would that be? Well, I would say um, probably if they gave artists more shows, you know. Give more um, shows to show their yeah, work. Yeah, uh, more, more locations, more uh, locales, uh, you know, for shows. Yeah. I think that's where they need to really, really need to pick it up. Yeah, that's good. That's yeah. a good point. Very good. I can bring that up with our yeah. cultural master plan process. Yeah. Yeah. Um, one last question. Are you currently in the midst of working on anything particular? Yeah, you should find it funny you should mention that because I'm working on a, on a, um, a similar scene as this but a train station in it. Oh, okay. uh, I, have, I don't have any pictures of a train station. So oh. now I'm working on that. It's going to be similar to this, about the same size. Mm -hmm. And I'm and working on it right now. Yeah. Wonderful. And do you as soon as have, I get home, I'm going to be working. And out. then you will, that will be for sale through print or Oh, I would think well. so, yeah. 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 Wonderful. Yeah. Wonderful. Well, thank you very much for being on Community Corner. It's thank been you. great speaking with you. I know you play a wonderful role in our community. I want to thank you for supporting the arts and also for sharing your story as an artist. Uh, but also a longtime supporter of arts and culture in our city. Right. Well, thank you thank for you. inviting me. Thank you very much. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs>